be careless. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Stop scaring us like that. Are you all right? Hmm. Stop scaring us. You just appeared out of nowhere. But anyhow, the dream felt like a summoning. I think Vamina's shrine is complete. As much as I don't like the idea of accepting invites from Daedric princesses, it might be a good idea to hear her out. Dagon is our true adversary after all. Anyone who opposes him might as well be chalked up as an ally. Well, all right. Tassius, I think we have, uh... What do you seek? Some work to be done. The Torpor. Why don't we go ahead and take care of that now? It's already 2.30 in the morning. I might as well get some sleep. <laughs> Let's see if I can find this. Would it be a potion? It is torpor. All right, here we go. in the hang of it. You just need to concentrate. Feel the energy flow down your forearm and into the base of your palm. Then, when it begins to pulse and saturate, release it. Now it's your turn. Right. Deep breath, energy, saturation, and... <laughs> oh, uh -oh. See? I knew you could do it. I hit the tree! One step at a time. We'll work on aiming tomorrow. The important thing is that you've managed to cast a spell. That is important. Some would argue that the important thing is not burning down the island. <laughs> I don't know how many more trees we can spare. I saw it, and I'm very proud. But remember what I told you. No matter what happens... Don't tell Mom. That's my girl. Now, <laughs> you'd best get back to her. Your uncle and I are about to set out hunting. Isn't that something the mother can't know that she's a sorceress? She picks up on it quickly. Magic proficiency runs in our side of the family. If you and Sayanta ever have a child of your own, that kid will be a college-level mage by the time he's three. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Is that so? I learned of it this morning. Sayanta is with child. By the Nine! That is most excellent news! The universe continues to surprise us. Your daughter's been picking out names. I've rarely seen her so excited. Indeed. Make no mistake, brother. The future is finally looking bright for once. What was that? The village. Oh, it's on fire. Did the girl do that? Yes. Isabella! Seonta! Isabella! Isabella! Oh no, she's dead. No. No. Who did this? <laughs> no.
Something went wrong. You weren't supposed to see that. Oh, really? Well, it's too late now. The cat is out of the bag. Is that from your past? I... Yes. That was just two years ago. Hmm. Why would the torpor show you that? It doesn't make any sense. Well, you're the one that sprung this whole torpor thing on me from the beginning. Perhaps you mixed the formula wrong. But I am sorry about what happened. Don't be. What's done is done. Listen, I'll try and figure out what caused this. In the meantime, we should continue our current mission. Well, thank you for your permission. Is something on your mind? Can't say there is. Good. You? What do you want to talk about? Nothing. And am I supposed to talk to you again? State your business. Something on your mind. This might sound a little random, but... Do you believe in redemption? Oh, what do you mean? Do you think it's attainable? Can a life of sin be displaced by one of virtue and selflessness? Can the souls of the corrupt or those led heedlessly into corruption be forgiven? Or is redemption merely a concept mortals invented to cope with guilt and remorse? Hmm, you're asking the wrong person. Well, someone wise once said, it's better to be overcome. It's better to overcome evil than to be born good. That's a prudent citation. The person who coined it must be very wise indeed. It was a dragon, and I'm paraphrasing. You talk to dragons? Oh, right. <laughs> of course you do. Why are you asking? I was just... thinking about my responsibilities as a vigilant. An underdressed vigilant? I won't deny that sometimes our methods are radical and unforgiving. But I must remember that the monstrosities we pursue are beyond salvation. And why did you join the vigilant? My apprentice was... murdered by the Daedra. Murdered, really? I vowed to seek out and destroy every last one of them, if only to do right by her name. Well, it sounds like you came to the right place. <laughs> yeah, convenient, isn't it? On that note, we'd best get back to it. Yes, we must. And was there anything else on your mind? Nothing I'd like to talk about. Good. All right, I think it's time for me to resummon Zavok. It's like, will I ever get any rest this night? Something on your mind? Please explain to me why that spell didn't work. As soon as I know what you're referring to, I'll be happy to oblige. I can't summon Zavok back. Well, you asked for a spell to unsummon him, didn't you? I fail to see how this is a problem. What spell tome did you give me? Precisely what you asked for. A spell to unsummon Daedra. The book was titled, Summon or Unsummon. And do you believe everything you read? How dare you be so glib? Fix it. Look, I'll admit I was a little misleading with the details, but it was not without purpose. 
Do you honestly believe Zavok is under your control? <laughs> You don't want to know what I believe, dear. Not really. Then why do you allow him on the ship? I'll tell you why Zavok is really here. Insurance. He isn't following you around to protect you. He's here to make sure you fulfill this destiny of theirs. He's here to ensure you don't leave. Hmm, well, Zavok did give me his word, and dishonesty among the kind is highly despised. Yet not unheard of. Is that not why Zavok is in oblivion right now, to take vengeance on a deceptive Dremera? Heed oh, Dremera, is it? You aren't the only master Zavok serves. Well... I still need to bring him back, regardless of how you feel. Oh, is there no way to make you understand? He preys on your ignorance. <laughs> I'm only trying to open your eyes to his schemes. Hmm. And yet your eyes are closed to mine. Your concerns are noted, dear. But I still need him back. I... I still don't think it wise. Trust me. Right, but only because it's you. It could be Here's no the one else. to bring him back. Just consider what I said. Please. All right, I don't think I got another tome. But will this work now? There. Look, look out! more of my power. Master, I thought I'd never see you again. I've been bashing into skulls of Erinkir's puppets for what felt like days. And it's been legendary. Well, you interrupted my spell cast, but anyway, did you kill him? Erinkir, uh, curse has name once more. The slippery disgrace was ready for me. He propped up the throne with goons from every plane of oblivion. It took forever to cut my way through. Even when you summoned, I hadn't finished. Do you still plan on killing him? Of course. I cannot allow him to get away with such dishonor. But I need time to think of a plan. He'll be ready for my return, of that I have no doubt. I must have something prepared that he cannot predict. Why have we stopped? Well, I was going to heal myself, but I've already healed. Waiting for you to finish your conversation. Alright. And what do we have here? Hmm, nothing. Nothing that I need. All right. I think we should get some rest. And what do we have here? Except Vamina's summoning. Uh, well. Let's just go accept it. It's like I'm, I'm not going to get any rest anyway. It's getting too exciting here. <laughs> Let's go see what Vamina wants. That's 
Daedra no care that Ingvar lives here. Daedra ransacked Ingvar's what? home. Stupid, careless, Daedra! We hate them! The Daedra did this? They spared you? Of course! Silly, foolish Daedra! They think Ingvar still serves Dagon! <laughs> Ingvar has found a new master! See, who cares for poor Ingvar? Ingvar told Daedra the shrine was elsewhere, yes! Clever, witty Ingvar! And where is this shrine? Who asks? Who asks Ingvar these questions? Is it Dagon's servant? Back, you devil! Ingvar said too much! I don't think you've said quite enough. So, Vamina's servants slain. Ah, what is that? Not good lady. Oh, forgive poor Ingvar. She is displeased with Ingvar. Ingvar must suffer the dark, unescapable nightmares again. Oh. Oh. Am I supposed to be moved by your sobbing? So who is displeased? Vermina? Yes! You are her <laughs> chosen! Oh, her chosen, am I? She tells Ingvar. Ingvar did not know! Forgive Ingvar! Where is she? Ingvar knows! Follow Ingvar! This way! Follow good Ingvar! Finally! This was in my Lady dream. Is not well. This was open, this door. Ingvar must go now. There's a Lady temple or shrine on the other side. Yes, you go. I'll spare you for that for now. This time. <laughs> Why does it ask Ingvar's past? Why does it not mind its business? Ingvar does not deserve Yes, this torment. is the temple I saw in my dream. Or shrine, I should say. All right, here goes. Time is of the essence, mortal. I have risked much in summoning you here. And what do you want with me? We share a common enemy, mortal. Without my help, he will subdue you. Will he now? Tell me, why is Dagon your enemy? When he was overthrown by Akatosh's Chosen, I took pity on him and allowed him refuge on this island. But ever he desires dominance and destruction. When he had regained enough of his strength, he massacred my followers, corrupted my influence, and toppled my reign. I simply wish to take back what is rightfully mine. That's where you come in, mortal. Oh, is it now? And what can be done? Dagon's power grows with every mortal slain in his name. But he is still a mere shadow of his former self. It will take many reapings before he is strong enough to invade Tamriel once more. His vulnerability is our good fortune. I want you, mortal, to enter his plane of oblivion and sever the bridge between realms. With that, his power will falter and my island will be free of his dominion. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting plan, but we've tried to disrupt the Sigil Stone, and it trapped us in oblivion. There is no victory without sacrifice. Oh, really? But perhaps there is another way. It is Mehrun's own energy that flows through the Sigil Stone. If you defeat him in combat, the stone will fail and the bridge between worlds will fold. 
You want me to defeat Dagon in combat? Only if you cannot destroy the Sigil Stone. Dagon will not risk revealing himself before he attains the remainder of his strength. You will need to pose a significant threat to draw him out. That is why I will not send you into his realm unequipped. Oh, I grant you, have to you offer? my cloak. May you use it to shroud yourself and those in close proximity from Dagon's watchful eyes. You cannot hope to pass beyond his seeing stones without it. Hmm, that's it? A cloak? You know the seeing stones of which I speak. Yes, I do. I remember them vividly. Dagon may have let you pass them before as an example of his power. But he will not keep the gates open while he perceives you as a threat. Whether your fate is to destroy the Sigil Stone or Dagon, you will need this cloak. Time is short. In summoning you here, I have revealed this shrine to Dagon. He will not pass at the opportunity to rid me of this island once more. Go, mortal, and be warned. Even a weakened Dagon is a formidable opponent. Do not underestimate his malice. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so Vermina's cloak. Tassius, I think the two of us have something we need to tend to, but let's do it in safer quarters. Spare him again this time, but I'll be back. Cassius, let's we can just go over here. What is this here? Meet the warden. No, we're not meeting him, Tassius. Yes? Something on your mind. I suppose there is. I think I might know why you saw that moment from my past in her vision. I think it likely Dagon corrupted some of Lady Vermina's powers in the time since he came to dominance. It's possible he hijacked our vision. If that's the case, why would he show your past? That's the part I've had trouble with. I suspect he may recognize the strength of your company and be taking steps to weaken us individually. The memory he showed you, it's... Something I thought I had moved on from. When I was forced to relive it, I... I guess the greatest illusion of grief is the hope that one day you'll be strong enough to put it behind you. Alas, I digress. This is my fight. I don't mean to trouble you with my strife. about I just spout platitudes that you can't face all your troubles alone? No man is an island. At least so I'm told. Perhaps not. But what is the worth of a man who can't handle his own tribulations? It wouldn't be a burden. I want to help. But you shouldn't have to. 
between the Daedra, Warden, and Dagon? You've got enough to worry about. You needn't concern yourself with me. I'm sure I'll be able to work something out. My offer stands, should you change your mind. I'll keep that for consideration. All right, what about you? Good morning, Dover. Good morning. Something on your mind? There's a cave not too far from here that's tainted with Daedric magic and twisted spirits. Time willing, I'd like to investigate and root out the evil that dwells within. How do you know this cave? I overheard mention of it from a reliable source. And we're going based on a rumor. From a reliable source? You keep saying that. You're leaving something out. The evil that resides there, it must be purged. But the less you know of it, the better. <laughs> then why is that? Telling you would compromise the deed. All right then, keep your secrets. It's not like that, I just... It's the spirits I don't trust, not you. We should head there as soon as possible. All right. So the cave might be this way. Not quite sure. Dover. The spirits that live here. They are as cunning as they are devious. Stay vigilant and trust nothing heard or seen. All right. Since you're so shaken, uh, should we wait for the others or just go on ahead? All right, here comes Uriel and Tassius. Good. You both made it. Then let's go. This creature will prey on your subconscious, planting thoughts and molding memories to fit their demonic infatuations. Do not pay their words any consideration. We must resist. What was it? What lured the faithful tongue of Dagon to be pinned by her own snare? Did she develop a conscience? Or is this our master's final command? Or perhaps... Or perhaps what? <laughs> Don't be coy. Yes, yes, of course. But you haven't told him, have you? <laughs> Ironic. Be silent, spirit of the damned. Oh, here we go. Pretend to aim? You won't live to see the world. 
I really don't understand why these... in one place for too long. Come on! Is that fear I hear in your voice? <laughs> All right then, come on. Hmm, so, I've tested a, a theory that my... Rev my ability to revive myself is working again. You come here seeking redemption, yet you cower from the magnitude of your transgressions. My dear, this road has no inversion. You know what you are. A tribute to all your sins. Do you like it? <laughs> we need to get out of here. Now. Oh, what do we no. have here? Stay and observe all you served faithfully to establish. Graffiti. Captain the murderer. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, who is this hiding? Cut that out. Get out of my way, then. You have no power. Can you finish it yourself? I didn't think so. There. <laughs> and what do we have here? Dragon priest ashes, that's it. Hmm, what does this handwritten note say? I wonder. Catry the murderer. <laughs> What about this one? Catry the traitor. Well, what is going on here? Catry the imposter. Catry the cheat. Oh, Catry. <laughs> oh, this must be horrible. What's in the coffin, I wonder? Well, are we done here? Shall we get moving? Shall we? All right, thank you all for your help. Er 
earthbound weapon. What? Imbues the caster's weapon with earth, increasing magicka regeneration by 100%. Oh, well. Look at this. If a target dies within 5 seconds, 33% chance to refresh your shout cooldown. Well, I should at least learn that enchantment. Let's go. Maybe I should not be so hasty. Who knows what else is here? What are the riches? But, perhaps for another time. And Uriel, do you have any leads on your parents yet? <laughs> to think that this was supposed to be a rescue mission. And look at us now. Wait, do you hear that? Is someone there? <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Come on. Oh, look! Get them! Taxius. Finish it! Someone get that man a weapon. Your terror ends fear. I don't know, do these things have weapons? I haven't been paying much attention. What's this do? Reduces the target's armor rating by 49 points for 8 seconds, causes 3 points of corrosive damage. I don't know, can I give this to you? I've got your back. I want to update your equipment. Such as? This. Perhaps you'll use it. Let's go. So, do you care to tell us what happened back there? Are you okay? Why are you breathing so hard? They were just stronger. Now would be a very good time to explain yourself. I disagree. Really? The more you know about me, the more these spirits can use as a leverage to drive a wedge between us. Knowledge of this caliber is dangerous for both of us. Hmm. I think you owe me a better explanation than that. Just know that I'm not the person you think I am. But Who I'm is? also not the person I once was. And I don't care. Why don't you just tell us what's going on? You almost killed us, and you have nothing to say for it. What would you have me say? Words cannot mend this situation. So what now? The spirit is stronger than I thought possible. I will need time to ponder the meaning of this, and a way to counter her tactics. All right. And you had something else to say. Everything all right? Something on your mind. Can you spare a moment? I've given some thought to what you said earlier, and... Oh. Well... Well, perhaps divulgence is the best way forward. All right, I've got time. And so do they. There's a place I'd like to discuss this. I'll mark your map. 
We can head there whenever you're able. The peak of Mount Andor, all right. Where is the peak of Mount Andor and how do we get there? Let's try going this way. 